Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a really itchy nose. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on what I would tell my teenage self and I have 11 points for this video and let's just jump right into this video. So let's get started. So the first point is, it's okay to feel, it's okay to cry and to get angry. So obviously when you're growing up, you are going through puberty and all that nasty stuff. I cried a lot because I had a lot of emotions because I have, I have quite intense emotions because I'm a Scorpio and I'm just generally intense anyway. And I also like to get angry a lot, which is fine. And I think that's the problem is some parents or some friends or whoever tell you that it's not okay to feel and it's okay to just be cool all the time and just be chilled. But no, it's not. It's okay to cry. Just cry. If, you, if you're getting like your period and you're just randomly crying, then just do it. I got my period, I think, when I was 14 or 15. So the hormones didn't really hit me until a little bit later than a lot of people but it's okay it's okay to just be emotional just be, be a drama queen if your mum tells you oh you're such a drama queen just be like yes bitch <laughs> whack it <laughs> but yeah so as i say it's okay to feel and don't be embarrassed about it so number two is you can get through school it's different on the other side so depending on what you do after school you might go straight into uni i did i went from school to sixth form in the same school and I'll, then i went into uni so yeah, so it depends what you want to do. Basically, I had a really crappy time, like the last six months of school. And I was quite lucky that I didn't get bullied throughout school. Not that I can vividly remember, but the last six months was absolutely awful. So I really, really hated it. And I had a lot of horrible people around me who I thought were my friends, but weren't. I just kept being true to myself. And as hard as it is sometimes, and you may hate your course, you may hate the lessons that you're doing, but at the end of the day, it's not gonna last forever. And school probably does feel like it's gonna last forever because you are in the education system until you literally leave school, which is like 18, I think, no, 16. I don't know. <laughs> you're not gonna be in it forever and you will get through it. And even though it doesn't feel like that you can't get through it, you will, trust me. So number three is similar to the last point is to be strong and be honest. For me, I've always been true to myself. I, I think, I'm guessing so. I think I always have. What is this bit of hair? Recently from meditating and going more into my spiritual practice, I feel like it's getting much, much easier for me to become more honest and true to myself. When I don't feel like something is right, I will tell someone. And when I was in a bad time or getting bullied and everything, I told them that they were doing something wrong and they didn't really get it, which is fine. But at the end of the day, you can't make someone believe something. So all you've got to do is rely on yourself and be honest and be strong. And as horrible as it is sometimes, maybe everyone is going off into their little group and you just kind of feel really lonely. And that's fine, guys, honestly. There were so many times I felt so, so alone, but honestly, you can get through this. And I, I honestly truly believe that everything does get better, trust me. In personal experience, it's just, it can be, be utter rubbish, but then you just, you do not know what's going around the corner because at the end of the day, all that matters is your happiness. So yeah, but be true to yourself and you can do this. Number four is don't worry. This is really ironic because I worry all the time. I mean, recently I haven't really been worrying that much. As I said, meditation, a spiritual practice. There was a lot of times I was worrying about things and it's, it's completely natural, honestly. When you're surrounded by people the same age as you and they're all worrying as well, you're kind of just like, eh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, don't worry guys. Um, it's gonna be okay. You are allowed to worry, but at the end of the day, it will work out in your favor. And as long as you work hard, and you try your best and that's that's all you can do really so number five is people will let you down but there are new ones on the way and this is definitely from personal experience and i have had a lot of people let me down and this has helped me grow so much when i used to fancy someone or i used to have a friend that i really really wanted to be friends with i used to go all in i used to love them so much and then they used to just be like whoa and they used to just back away and then i used to lose them like that if someone's going to walk away from you just let them because at the end of the day, they're not worth your time. If they're not gonna put the effort in for you, then they are so not worth your time. And you will find people who you are connected with and who are on the same level as you and you will feel so much better about yourself. And honestly, if I wasn't honest with myself and I wasn't the person that I naturally am, then I wouldn't have the people in my life today because I wanna be like the kindest person I can to people. And if I could 
give, hu give hugs to everyone I would because I'm such a huggy person but I feel like if I wasn't the caring person that I am today then I wouldn't be around the people that I am because I feel like I've helped a lot of my friends who are with me today with a lot of problems whether it be advice or helping them with their photography or their projects and a lot of the times if I didn't do that I wouldn't have bonded with them so much what I'm saying is just be true to yourself and if those people walk out of your life I know it is so hard to let go of some people sometimes and it sucks you will get through it trust me and that's probably going to be the quote of this video so number six is trust in the universe and this is something that I have been practicing all my friggin life to have like a mum who's very spiritual and who's someone I really really rely on she's like my role model if, it's, if something's not working out for your benefit or someone leaves so quickly you think excuse me I thought you were going to be my friend but then they just leave suddenly or they just treat you like crap or poop treat you like poop <laughs> then trust that new things are on their way and the universe is going no you don't need that person in your life and then the new one comes in and you're like oh hey girl how's it going you're gonna be my best friend now if you didn't let the universe let you let go of this person then new people will not come along because you aren't ready for that new person to come in and to be accepting of them so that is where you need to trust and if it's not the universe it could be in yourself in god in anybody just trust that everything is going to be okay and it's going to work out for the better and you know that this is a path that you're meant to be on and sometimes you have to get through the rubbish times to get through the good times and i know that so well so number seven is just be you and who gives a shh about anyone else <laughs> it's okay to be different and this is basically one of my points i've already reiterated on what i'm trying to say is that you can be yourself and it is okay and it's fine something that i struggle with in school is my curly hair and this is a pretty silly a silly thing but for me it's not silly because i have curly hair and i was self-conscious about it recently i have been trying to be happy with my curly hair which is ironic because my hair's straight today but as you can see in one of my videos that i did with my friend emma i have my hair curly and i am not very comfortable with it because it's different not a lot of people have curly hair in school and people straighten their hair to death in school but what i'm trying to say is be comfortable in your own skin and if if straightening your hair makes you feel comfortable or putting on makeup that is completely fine guys what I'm trying to say is I want you to express yourself in a way that feels comfortable for you and when you're ready then do it and don't ever stop yourself from being yourself don't ever have to get that latest iPhone to be like everybody else or have go and do that trend that everybody else is doing because it doesn't mean that you're going to fit in and find the right people it just means that you're just going to blend in with everybody else for that like few months or few weeks and then it's going to shift to another trend and it's it's not even gonna last so just be yourself guys and if that means ditching people or not going with a the trend then that's fine guys i was always late to the trend like i was late to fidget spinners fidget spinners they are great <laughs> they are actually really fun but i was late to them like a month or two and they've already gone really they're not even a trend anymore <laughs> next point number eight is basically the same thing it's wear what you want and yeah just express yourself in wearing what you want it's okay and you don't have to be with the trends and i know a lot of people aren't but there are a lot of people that are who have to who feel like they have to but it's fine i mean i did quite a few trends like if you guys know the hollister bag with the naked man on it that trend i think that's just a british thing but a lot of people did that that was fun so basically what i'm trying to say is wear what you want and don't be afraid to express yourself so number nine is you don't have to have it figured all out and this is accurate to a lot of people who are going through year 11 onwards because a lot of people shove the career system on you because after year 11 you go off to college or do whatever you want to do or go into sixth form or whatever not everyone knows what career they want to do and i found this really weird because i thought they actually didn't give you much advice on careers i mean they helped me with my cv but that was about it they didn't actually show you what careers you could have which i think is really really weird but i already kind of knew what i wanted to do i really like nail art as i have my nail art youtube channel and i love photography i love filming i love feeling like that i haven't always loved filming and photography i have i feel like i've always loved it but i've never actually realized that i loved it i do and there's so many adults that don't know what they're doing with their lives and that is totally fine because at the end of the day the more you are looking for new things you're not just sticking to one thing and don't listen to your parents and what they want you to do because that is not good i mean if you have to do it but it's not your it's not their life it's yours and i feel like a lot of parents just push themselves on their kids i think that is quite accurate to what i'm trying to say is because you don't have to do what everybody else is doing and if your parents want you to go to uni you don't want to go to uni don't do it like do whatever is best for you and whatever is going to feel like is going to make you happy but it doesn't have, you don't have to have it figured all out uni is weird so number 10 is very very accurate to my life and i'm sure it is accurate to a lot of your lives is to do your best and that is good enough emphasize on the is because that is good enough when people tell you that you're not good enough 
because you've handed in a rubbish essay or you've done a piece of artwork and people aren't appreciating it because you you're doing like your art career and people aren't appreciating it but that's their standards that's what they're they're basing their opinion on their experiences it's really hard because when someone points their finger at you and say you're doing this wrong and I don't like this because you did it and it's just really hard and I think it's trying to figure out the education system for one but it's also listening to other people's opinions I feel like take other people's opinions on but do your best and if you feel like especially with people who do have anxiety and mental health issues this actually makes me quite emotional because I'm so passionate about it but for me because I do have those things anxiety for one I've always had that since I was a young person you don't feel like you're doing your best all the time and when you do let people down because of it it really sucks but it's fine because at the end of the day if those people want to stop you or want to leave you because you have anxiety or you have a physical problem that stops you thing is I had a lot of physical problems and I couldn't go into school a lot of the time and a lot of my friends got annoyed at me because I couldn't attend school and I was pissed off and I think a lot of it is down to their view because they're, it's like they're jealous that they want time off school it's stuff like that it's silly things just be honest with yourself and do what's best for you and that is good enough and as long as you're trying your best and you did everything that you can in any situation whether it be school with friends with relationships because you are you you're not anybody else and this is your life you do what is best for you so the last point is be creative and express those emotions girl mm, yes be sassy be angry be happy do whatever you feel is good as long as it's not hurting anyone <laughs> and do what makes you happy because that is what we are on this planet for and that is that, i don't know what else to say okay guys so i really hope you enjoyed this video and found this advice helpful and if you did then i'm very happy about that um if you didn't i'm sorry i am not gandhi i wish i was I wish I was Buddha, but I'm not. But thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Give it those thumbs. Give it those thumbs. Yeah. And don't forget to comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel. My name is Vicky Wishes. And I'll see you all in my next video. Mm, bye. I love you. Bye. What am I saying? Oh, next point. Spilling the tea. <laughs> Can you see my bogeys? <laughs> that got deep. Deep. Mm -hmm.